If you're using the Roland TD1K into your computer for use in drum software, the chokes don't work by default, but it's an easy and free workaround and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're gonna need two free pieces of software. They are Loop MIDI and the eDrum MIDI Mapper. And there are links in the description for where you can get those. Just go ahead and download and install them. If you're on Mac, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but there's probably a similar setup that will work for you. But on PC, this works pretty easy. And uh, they only take a few minutes to set up. So Loop MIDI is going to create sort of an artificial MIDI routing inside your computer. There's not too much to it. You will need to go into the options in your DAW and enable the Loop MIDI port for MIDI control once it's set up. And uh, most of the drums are just gonna work fine through this setup. We're only going to add the choke zones. So here you can see my settings on the eDrum MIDI mapper. I'm not doing anything with the hi-hat choke. I did add an extra symbol, so I have three crash or ride symbols. Uh, the MIDI in is the TD1 module. The MIDI out is the loop MIDI port, and that is going into my DAW uh, through the MIDI, the loop MIDI port. Now these are already set up, but let's go ahead and set up a new one so you can see how to do it. Um, a hi-hat would work for particular hi-hat controllers, um, but I'm not gonna worry about that. This is just for the chokes. So I go to new generic, and then we're gonna see this drum pad settings. The note here is the main note of the symbol. If we click this dialog, we can tap the symbol and it will read the note. By default, it's on channel 10. I would just leave it there. Don't use this first choke note option. I use the second one here and just tick this box. And then the choke note you can set either by the key name or you can type in a number like 56 and that will set up uh, with the correct routing. I would check in your software where the uh, choke notes are. I set mine up to the defaults, and so I have F sharp three, G sharp three, and G sharp one. But double check in your software that those are the numbers you want to use for your symbols and map up, you know, the left symbol with the left crash choke and all that. The main note out should be changed to be the same as whatever this note is. So those two should be the same, and we're just adding this choke note. You hit OK, and now we have a drum pad working. Now I already have my set up, but I can just demo them for you and show you in uh, Steven Slate Drums here how it's working. So I'm just gonna hit the crash symbol and then choke it so you can see that it works. So one of the things I like about Steven Slate Drums is that the actual choke sound is not really like the sound of a cymbal being hit and then choked, like in a lot of software, it is literally just the tail end of the choke. So if I just squeeze the cymbal and play the choke, it sounds like this. If you're programming drums, you may prefer to have the choke be the sound of a cymbal being hit and then choked, but for e-drumming, this is a much better way of having your choke set up because it sounds realistic. Otherwise, when you squeeze the choke, you're gonna get another crash hit being choked, and that's not what we want. We just want the choke sound. One more thing to keep in mind with the eDrum MIDI mapper is make sure you turn off this note off filter. It should be unchecked. If you don't do that, then if you go to record MIDI, you're just going to have held out notes, almost like a sustain pedal on a piano. It's going to be really weird and uh, it'll just ruin your take. So make sure note off filter is unchecked. It's checked by default for some reason, but uh, you won't notice it when you're playing, but when you record it, you'll notice that the MIDI did not come out right. Otherwise, this works just fine. It works perfectly. And uh, there are other options you could do in this if you were doing some more advanced stuff or if your module and your computer are not talking properly, you could reroute your pad numbers 
whatever the module is putting out, you can change that in the software. So it's outputting different MIDI notes. It's the only way to get these chokes working with this module. And it may work with like third-party hi-hat controllers. And maybe I'll test that out at some point. But these are the only things I did. And the rest of my drums are just going through normally. They're just sort of passed through and I didn't have to change anything. So it works really well. And um, I'm happy with the setup and I got my chokes working. So I hope this helps someone. Uh, it was kind of hard to find the information. So I thought, let's do a video on it and just show you how to do that exactly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, check out some of my other videos on the TD1 and other production stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.